Hey everybody, it's Keith. And Brittany. And I'm we're, Josh. <laughs> we're here at the Cotton <laughs> Cave. <laughs> we're gonna we're we're behind the counter today. So this is a special edition of it's our It's making show. me nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Okay. Yeah. We Show me where the fight. register is. Anyway, much. uh much. It's that vampire thing. So basically, uh, we're going to discuss some of the uh, winners from this year's Eisner Awards. Now, you can find the complete list, Google Eisner Awards 2017, mm -hmm. but we're only going to talk about just a, a short number of some of the winners. Yeah, it's a big list. It is yeah. a big list. It's a cool award. Yeah. I, I, I think it's something I you'd like. I hope I get one. I'd like, I'd like to win one someday. Yeah. You can win one for being uh, the spirit of retailer. Really? Award. Yeah, I didn't win. Let's see. Let's see if we can push nominated. the Comet Cave. Yeah, let's see if we can push the Comet Cave for 2018. Let's see if we can get Josh that award. You people out there can make this happen. 2018. Tweet it. CometCave.com. Right? Com. <laughs> Tweet it. <laughs> the kids do. They do In the Insta Twitters. Instagram it. They do the Twitters. Yeah. So we're gonna start with uh, best anthology, which uh, the winner was Love Is Love. Which is an anthology that benefited the victims of the uh, nightclub shooting in Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and we sold tons of that. Yeah, didn't you guys reorder awesome. and and reorder and reorder? I think we probably sold sixty plus copies of it oh, nice. all in. So yeah. yeah, it definitely deserves that award. It was a really cool, really yeah. cool thing that they did. So that's yeah, nice. they deserved it. Uh, I think our, proceeds? Do they do like proceeds where it went? Yeah, every went every it? bit of money that they made above the cost of printing went, went to, to the it? families That's of those awesome. victims. That's really cool. That's neat. Yep. I think next we have best continuing series. Saga is what won best continuing series by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples, and that honestly is one of the best oh, comics out there. Yeah. I mean, it's one of our best sellers. It's one of the coolest premises. It's a. It's kind of a mashup of fantasy and science fiction. It's got a Romeo and Juliet feel to it, and then it's just. It's very well written. Anything by Brian K. Vaughn is good. Though. So I should start. Reading. Of course you should. Like okay. yesterday. Like yesterday. I'm You're serious. Failing in life. They, there are two hardcovers of, of already that are 18 issues per, so that will really? almost get you caught up. Nice. Yep. Okay. And do you have that here at the comic? I do. I have those. Nice. Right come now. Down. And even if he doesn't have them in store, you can come in, you can order it, or you can order it online because they will get it to you at thecomiccave.com. We'll do our best. <laughs> best cover artist is where we're going. Was well, again the cover artist. Well, it's Fiona Staples, the artist for Saga. Wow, she does. Nice. She does all of the covers for Saga as well. And. If you haven't seen her art, you need to because it is amazing stuff. And being a girl, it's kind of cool that oh, you're yeah. seeing so many of like these females getting recognized. Yeah, in this day awesome. and age, there are there are a lot more female writers and artists, and they're a lot more prolific than they ever used to be because they're writing amazing stuff. And I think a lot of that is because in this in in the comic industry right now, the because the variety is so great, that has opened the door for a lot more people to write the story that they've always wanted to write or do the art that they've always wanted to do. And that's what has created this variety that we have. So. That's awesome. So you're saying I have a chance. You do. There's still a chance. You can do that Buffy fan fiction you've always wanted to do. I would never <laughs> do that because I don't trust myself to ruin what I love so much. But this is Saga right here. But Volume 7. Oh, it's yeah, pretty. There's seven of them already. It's pretty. You're way behind. I am. I promise. I'll get but on we'll it. But we'll get you caught up. Yeah. I'll get on it. Comicave.com. I'll get on it. What's next? The next one is the best digital comic, which was a comic called Bandette by Paul Tobin and Colleen Coover. They've they've done some collected editions of this, but they they do it online first, and then after they have enough material to do, they've done two different hardcovers that that uh, reprinted. It's good. Paul Tobin is a guy that has worked. He worked on all the Lord of the Rings movies. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, he worked for Weta Workshop Forever. If uh -huh. it's the same Paul Tobin that I think it is, which I think it is. If I'm wrong, Paul, tell me. Um, or come on down to the comic page yeah. and just let us know. We but want to be correct. Very deserving. Bandit is excellent. Nice. So the next one is the uh, best graphic album, New. Right. So this is Wonder Woman The True Amazon by Jill Thompson. Let me tell you something. Not only is Jill Thompson an amazing artist, she is one of the coolest people you will ever meet. Seriously, she is. And she does super awesome stuff. 
And so she's, I mean, she worked on Sandman back in the day when Neil oh, Gaiman was doing it. And she has her own creations like uh, Scary Godmother. And But this true Amazon is a fully painted, she does watercolor and it's just blows your mind. This is a fully painted graphic novel, original graphic novel of Wonder Woman that came out right around the time that the movie started. That's awesome. And Wonder Woman is just hot right now. Oh, yeah. Like it's, yeah. Just, mm -hmm. it's just on. Yep. Next is Best Limited Series. This one took me by surprise because I haven't read it, but it's The Vision, as in The Vision from the Avengers, mm -hmm. uh, written by Tom King, and uh, I believe the artist is... What does that say? Gabriel... Walter. Walter. Um, and the reason that one took me by surprise is because a lot of times when we when we have a mini series that's based on a character or yeah of a character from a major team right. like that, they oftentimes don't do as well as you might think. But that one had a unique premise and did great apparently. So huh, I haven't heard. I, haven't I need heard to read it. Either. I'm learning from this list. There's a lot <laughs> of stuff I need to read. Right. Is what I'm learning. Our next one is Best New Series. Now this is a series by Jeff Lemire and Dean Ormston called Black Hammer. And it is a... It is a superhero book, but it's one of those more dark superhero books that they've, been, that they've done in the last few years. And Jeff Lemire is an amazing writer. And he's also a pretty good artist, too. His art sounds very unique, so... And, and so is Dean Ormson, and they're uh, like a little similar in art style, like so it kind of fits for those two to be working together. Cool. Um, I like the darker stuff. I like the darker stuff. What? I know, crazy. You? crazy. This is weird. But yeah, very deserving. So can I borrow this list? You can, have it. you can have it once <laughs> we're done. It'll be your checklist. <laughs> okay, that's uh, Next is best single issue or one shot. And again... That is uh, Jill Thompson, along with Evan Dorkin and Sarah Dyer, for the one shot that she did called Beasts of Burden. That's another thing that she and Evan Dorkin created together. And it's, a, it's about a pack of dogs that go around their neighborhood and solve supernatural mysteries. And then there's a couple of cats thrown in there, too. And it's great, the interaction they have, because mm -hmm. cats and dogs don't like each other. And, it's like Scooby-Doo without the people? Yeah. Pretty much. And the dogs talk to each other and Amen. and solve crimes and stuff. It's awesome. It really is. Amen. And I think I, that one shot was really good, because it was called What the Cat Dragged In. So if, you, if you're really wanting to read that, just find it at thecomiccave.com. Or we'll order it for you. And now uh, our next one is the best U.S. edition of international material. Now I put this on here because I'm a huge Mobius fan, and, and they've started doing collections of all of Mobius's work, and they're called the Mobius Library. So this was the first volume, The World of Adina. Uh, if you haven't ever seen Mobius's work, it's everywhere. His influence is everywhere. And he passed away just a couple of years ago, unfortunately. But his work, they it's it's good that they're finally starting to do nice hardcover collections of all of his material because he has so much stuff and it's all amazing. Yeah. So I think it's great that that won an award. And I think the final one we're going to cover is Best Writer. Which we've kind of touched on this already. It's Brian K. Vaughn, the writer of Saga. But he also writes Paper Girls and he has written countless other things. Why the Last Man. Uh, he did a comic of a uh, mutant comic called <laughs> Runaways that was for the Marvel Universe. He did a, a comic called Ex Machina. Everything that he has written, it, it's top notch. No, I'm not top watch. notch I'll, stuff. I'll get the, he's awesome. a great writer. I'll get the sports and there, he's been around for a while, too. So is like two is there anything after. that you really like that you wish was on this list? Like that you haven't seen? That's something that you kind of think probably should be? Or do you think they're kind of spot on this year? Well, I, I always think I'm a big Cullen yeah. Bunn fan. Not just because I know the guy, but because I think he's a great writer. And he's got some books. Like Six Gun. I don't know if Six Gun ever won any guys or awards, but it should. Because yeah. uh, it was amazing. Uh, the new stuff that he's doing, his creator own stuff like Unsound and uh, The Damned and Unholy Grail are all excellent books as well. Yeah, there's Six Gun. If you ever read that, it's a supernatural western. And it's amazing. From Uni Press. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, guys. But I don't know. I mean, I'm always happy to see this list because it always surprises me what ends up on it anyway. There's so much good stuff out there. 
Yeah. And well, and it's exciting because like now I know. Oh yeah. I mean, there's some stuff that I. I need to go heard. back and look at all the all the people that were nominated. Yeah. Because I, it's usually your you know the top list. Like you can take all the nominees, and if you were weren't reading all those books, I guarantee you that if you did, you'd enjoy them all. Yeah, that's awesome. So. You know, we can put a link to this list on our Facebook page, just for you out there. Now, I have a book that I just think is very appropriate to the now. It's the Kirby 100, and it's just basically, yeah, it just came out. They just got this in. So if your local comic book store doesn't have it, comiccave.com definitely. It will probably win an Eisner next year. Yeah. This I'm is pretty excited about this box that I'm purchasing. <laughs> Alex, Alex Ross Hart. Yeah, and he's great. Um, I follow him on Instagram. We were joking about the Twitters and the Instagrams. But yeah, I was commenting on some of his stuff, and he liked it. He's he seems really nice too. Cool. Like, I really like his artwork. Though. Oh yeah, I like his he's an amazing also. artist. Oh, yeah. so we've been amazing. Yeah. amazing. Well, it's beautiful because they, they look real. Like mm -hmm. I just I love yep. realism, and so to see those like to see you know, them look like Brittany's a pretty good artist too. Uh, I think people are biased that are behind the counter <laughs> at the comic game. <laughs> she does good photorealistic. Yeah. I think it's going to be well. She's fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. You guys are. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, that's all we have for you right now. But keep checking back. You'll never know when we're going to have something brand new for you or when we're going to do another behind the counter at the comic cave. So, Keith, Josh, and Brittany. This has been. Well, your weekly, almost weekly update? Yeah, I still say that. Almost, almost, almost weekly. Because we're almost fans.